Good morning, everybody. Here is a case that I cannot get off my mind. This was shared in the Crime Lines and Lots Facebook group yesterday by Court K. Then I was talking to Amanda about it last night. We were really going back and forth. This is crazy. Where is Madeline? She was last seen at her apartment uh, May 10th, I believe. She left behind her car keys, her puppy dog, her phone. She was overheard arguing with a man. Well, we can start putting it together already. Um, Nancy Grace weighed in on this yesterday and has a very good friend of hers on the show talking to her. A lot of information. We're going to do an entire live about Madeline and also discuss it on the show this morning. We're going to do a, a segment about Madeline. Tell me what you know. Tell me what you think. Leave me a comment and let's look at this. Jasmine, you know what I always tell the children? I always say, you know what? If it what you're doing makes you feel bad or if you think you're not going to do something and that makes you feel bad, that means that's the wrong thing to do. You need to, to hear your feelings and follow them. So you, you leave. Did you go get in your car? I did. I got in my car. I drove down the street. I actually called in some food and I never ended up, ended up getting the food. I turned back around and I went back. Wow. You are a loyal friend. So you've been out there bamming on the door, ringing the doorbell, calling her name. Nobody comes to the door. You leave, and then you have a second thought. You go back, and then what happens? Um, still no answer to the door, and that's when I contacted her brother and hey, another friend. Hey, tell me about her apartment, please, Jasmine. Can you see in yeah. there? Is, uh, is it on the second floor, third floor, first floor? Can you look in the back door, the front door? Does it have a balcony? What can you tell me? Yes, ma'am. So um, it is on the third floor, and she does have a balcony. And from her door, there's a little crack, and you can see that there is a light on. A crack where? At the top of the, at the top of the door. Her door is a little wonky, so if you kind of lean on it, there's a crack at the top, and you can see whether the light's on or if it's off. So by then, you know, it's 7, 7.30, is it getting dark? Um, not quite yet. It gets dark maybe around 8, 9-ish. But you can see a light was on inside. And, you know, her phone is saying it's inside. And did you see her car? Her car was there. It was parked in the parking lot. Uh, what kind of car is it? It's a kind of like a dark blue Mazda. So then what do you do? You call her brother, and then what happens? Um, so he joins me and tries to continue knocking on the door and we were found by the maintenance man and he let us in for a wellness check. And? and that's where we found all of her belongings, her purse, her phone, her keys, everything was there. 